A local bartender is facing charges for throwing a man out of a bar and putting him in the hospital. Tonight we hear from a witness about what happened that night. Good evening, I'm Shannon Wolfson. Robert has the night off. A bartender at Kung Fu Saloon is charged with assault and now a video shows what happened. The altercation left one man in intensive care with a head injury. Chris Sadegi has a closer look now at the video and he spoke with one of the people in it to find out why it happened. Watch the bartender with the beard and hat. That is Robert Camillon. You can see him walk around the bar and appear on the other side to talk to a group, which includes customer Joey O'Hare. A little later, Camillon and O'Hare appear to have an exchange again before the bartender grabs O'Hare from behind and walks him out the door. When he lets go, O'Hare falls straight to the floor without moving. They did ask us to leave because Ivan, which had bumped into the same bartender, um, I guess they cut him off. The woman talking is one of the three friends later seen helping O'Hare off the ground and away from the bar. He would end up in intensive care that night. She told us another friend had been cut off and the same bartender was upset about a bump earlier. We bump into that bartender by accident. He just kind of reacted very aggressively for an incident. Since charges were filed back in November, we've been trying to get in touch with Kung Fu, their attorneys, to get their side of why their employee chose to act the way they did. Finally, we got an answer. The short clip of the video that has been shown doesn't tell the whole story. Both the attorneys for O'Hare, who provided the five-minute clip, and Kung Fu Saloon attorney Randy Howery told us there are hours of surveillance video. O'Hare's attorneys said they could find no provocation Howry said, wait and see. We're going to follow the legal process. Le with the legal process, when it's appropriate to do so, the evidence will come out. Evidence that may or may not fill the plot holes to what was a brutal ending. From downtown, Chris Sadegi, KXAN News. Well, O'Hare's attorney says he is recovering well, but still suffering from vision problems and is now at a diagnostic brain center in California. Because of this lawsuit, we have been looking into when a business is allowed to use force in Texas. We went to the Texas Certified Training Academy today. They specialize in private security training. Senior instructor Glenn Jones says he's read the laws and even unarmed licensed security officers don't get special treatment under the rules. The only authority they have is the same as any, anybody walking down the street, citizens arrest at best. So they can make a, a citizen's arrest just like you or I can. If you see me assaulting or doing something illegal, you can place me under citizen's arrest. And tonight on KXAN News at 10 o'clock, KXAN investigator Kevin Schwaller takes a deeper look at this kind of security training.